Hey guys, it's just saying here. Today we're gonna do a little bit of tips and tricks video on how to do really badass and capture the flag on Titanfall, of course. Um, first thing is, a lot of people don't do this. Uh, defend, defend the objective. It sounds pretty simple, but that's what you gotta do. Defend the objective. A lot of people just run up and try to get the flag, or a lot of people even just try to farm kills on this. Uh, this is capture the flag. N Titanfall is not Call of Duty. It is not Battlefield. Titanfall gives you high rewards for playing the objective. So if you're playing domination or if you're playing capture the flag, you're going to get most of the points by returning returning the flag, capturing the flag or being on objectives if you're in domination, being on objectives, defending objectives. That's the kind of stuff you get rewarded for. This is an attrition and always go for those flag returns, guys. If you're not defending for your team, then you best be attacking for your team. Another thing though, make sure that if you are trying to attack for your team but if you are trying to attack make sure that you still have players sitting back at base trying to defend um, you don't want to be pushing up if you have a bunch of players who are already trying to attack because then it'll be a cakewalk for your teammates or for the enemies just to come in and swoop your flag and then come back alright guys now I know that might not be or uh, might not sound as the most glorious job to just be sitting back and trying to defend the base but as you can see here I am still getting quite a bit of kills and I am still dishing out quite a bit of damage to the enemy team making it harder for them to take it another thing the Titans are very very important in this game mode as you can see here I call down my Titan and I'm about to dish some havoc on these other Titans right here but they can also dish out a substantial amount of damage to enemy players as well. As you can see, I not even directly hit him. Two splash rounds actually was able to take him down. But if you do get a direct hit just like that right there, you do get that insta-kill with the 40 millimeter cannon. Go grab that flag, capture some points for your team, and I guarantee you if you start playing like this, you will be on the top. Now Titanfall is very team oriented. Now that means you got to be able to risk it for the team. So going for the kill might end up getting you the kill and being able to return the flag for your team, saving you some points, but it also might end up in your death just like that. But that's okay because that's what Titanfall is about. You get heavily rewarded for that team effort. Another thing guys, just because you're not defending on the base does not mean you're not defending the base. Check this out right here. I'm sitting right in front of my base, maybe a hundred meters in front of my base, fifty to hundred meters, um, and I'm just picking off the guys that are trying to run to the base. The best defense is trying to kill the guys before they even get to your base. See here, I take out three pilot or two pilots right here, get them with the shock grenade, no big deal. All right, another big thing I want to teach you guys is wait to attack the objective or to try to get the flag until you have a titan. This is a game about titans. Titans are way faster than normal players, even the ogre, the heavier beastly ogre. Um, I normally choose the ogre as my titan uh, because you get a lot of health. You can basically just run around as a tank and you're still faster than normal players on the ground. So you wait, get that titan, throw him down on the ground while you go and capture that flag and now you're just in this big rolling tank and nobody can stop you as you're running to the base. Now when you do have the flag make sure that you are protected okay guys your teammates are probably not going to stay around you and protect you um, if you do have a teammate who uh, is waiting on the flag to be returned because you cannot capture the flag until your flag has been returned try to protect him but also try to be killing the enemy who has the flag I have the flag right now and our flag is gone so I'm just gonna back up I'm just gonna try to stay back stay alive and this is the big reason why I love the ogre because with if I was with the strider yes I'd be over here way quicker from when I captured the flag but chances are I'd be dead by now because the strider has half the health that the ogre does the strider has like 5500 and I think the ogre has around 10,000 so the strider almost has half the health so instead of going up and trying to go head on against the actual um, person who's captured the flag who's holding the flag for their team because he's not able to capture it either because I have their flag I'm just gonna sit back and wait for my team to kill it right here I see the turret firing at someone there's nobody on my map but I can tell since he's firing there that there is definitely a pilot there grunts would still be on your mini map uh, here's a trick right here just because the pilots are invisible you can still see the exhaust 
off of their jetpack. So be watching for that. Just because they go invisible doesn't mean they're completely inv invisible. Uh, you can still see the uh, the exhaust from their jetpacks, unless of course they have a a perk. It's a higher level perk, but you can get a perk that makes your exhaust completely invincible. Now or invisible. I'm sorry, but here I go jump up. I got lucky here. The flag got returned as soon as my Titan was getting um, dropped, but here I am. Boom. Get the score. A big thing that I want to talk to you guys about is once you have the lead for your team, don't be afraid to stay back and just try to hold the objective. When you're up two flags, there's no reason to start trying to push up and continue to try to get all the flags. If the other team hasn't captured any flags or you have four flags and they have two, you might as well just stay and protect because you're better off everyone staying at your base and they them trying to come and attack you, which most likely will not happen since you guys are going to be nice and bunkered into your base. Every round that I start off on, instead of trying to attack right at the beginning, I like to hold back and try to defend my base because you never know unless you're playing with um, a full group of your friends or something if your teammates are all just going to rush up and leave your flag barren or if they're not going to do anything. Now you see what I'm on right now? Um, that's actually a zip line. Zip lines are on, I want to say, all of the maps in this and zip lines are very helpful, especially in capture the flag. You can literally get from one side of the map to the completely other side of the map just following around these zip lines. This is a good reason so if you don't have a Titan you can actually just zip across. Now not all of the zip lines will take you directly to the other side. You might have to go off uh, a little bit of a side path but it's going to get you there way faster than um, running all the way back and it's going to make you a lot more safe because you're going on the zip lines it's going to make you a little bit harder to hit but it is going to pay out for you in the end like i said though the best reason or the best way to capture the flag is to wait for that titan to pop up and then as soon as your titan pops up call it down run in get the flag and then of course just hop back into that little safety protection of a titan as long as they don't have a whole bunch of titans just sitting right on their spawn you'll be able to get out of there scot free easy peasy be able to get home with the flag now a lot of times you'll see exactly like I said earlier um, they got the flag they got it returned as I'm coming in I'm gonna be fighting another titan but they're also gonna be getting the flag again hold your ground try to stay by your base and just wait for your teammates if you can try to shoot them from the base but you don't want to get you don't want to get too out of cover when you have the flag you just want to sit back and try to hold off from uh, from the enemy team trying to get you look at this guy right here he's gonna grab it right out from under my face now I thought that I was gonna be able to get a quick kill I thought he was gonna run towards me but he didn't he ran around I'm actually gonna turn around here because there's a little window on this. I actually just randomly got a, a crush. She tried to jump on my ass. But I'm going to turn around, look out this window right here, and try to get a snipe off. Luckily, Raxon was outside there, and he was actually taking some pot shots off of him, and he was able to get the last shot on him and kill him. He ends up returning the flag. I jump in here to cap it. Now on a quick side note, um, on this map, there's a few other maps that have monsters, but this is the easiest one to be able to kill the monsters. The monsters in this game are called flyers, and you see here, me taking some pot shots at them, they actually land, like you see this one landing right here. Two shots with the 40 millimeter will kill them, and as you see right there, killed flyer, and I got a hundred points for that. This is an easy way to rack up some points, and you'll be able to get those points up really easily. So, if you do have um, if you play last Titan standing on this map, that's really good. Get a double XP boost, and you can easily farm some XP just by sitting back and getting some of these. As you know, players are 100 points for killing them, so you get just as much points for a player as you do killing these guys. It's pretty cool, pretty crazy. But guys, if this video helped you at all, please leave a like, and also subscribe for more videos like this one. My name is Saiyan, and I'm going to be signing out for Saiyan and Raxxon today. Be sure to check us out in the next one, and I'll See you there.